Wild weather has lashed the country's east coast since Christmas Day, with the Weather Bureau warning more is on the way. Flash flooding also hit parts of Victoria, killing one man. And in Queensland, authorities hold grave fears for three people who are still missing. And on the Gold Coast, tens of thousands of people still remain without power. So let's go there now and bring in our reporter, Daniel Maher. Danielle, how is the cleanup going? Well, Catherine, unprecedented and catastrophic. These are the words being used by residents and emergency crews here to describe the impacts and the widespread damage that has been caused by this extreme weather event here on the Gold Coast as well as in the scenic, scenic rim. Just to bring you up to date with exactly what has happened here, a uh, thunderstorm supercell ripped through southeast Queensland on Monday night, bringing winds of up to 100 kilometres an hour, uprooting trees and debris, which, as you can imagine, smashed into cars, homes and power lines as well. Now, residents have uh, described uh, this particular uh, weather event as a mini cyclone and no, not far from here in Burley, the winds were so strong that a steel crane was bent. But tragically, up north from here in Helensvale, a 59-year-old woman uh, was killed after a tree fell onto her car that she was driving in during that time. But fortunately, yesterday, there was clear weather. And so residents and emergency crews were able to quickly clean up the, the debris because some of them feared that more wild weather would have hit last night. But thankfully, that didn't happen. So... Uh, uh, we do expect those residents are already up this morning uh, cleaning up what is anticipated to be a mammoth clean-up effort and also noting our theme parks here. Four of them had to be closed yesterday because of damage, but we do know that Movie World and Dream World have announced that they will reopen today. OK, massive effects on tourism, of course. Well, it's been more than 24 hours since that initial storm hit. How many residents still don't have power? The latest information we have from Energex is that about 80,000 homes remain without power and those crews worked overnight try to rest, trying to restore power to those homes and we do understand that fresh crews have been brought in this morning and we do understand that as we go into air they are working really hard trying to repair and restore power to the electricity network. Now, so far more than 1,000 power lines are down and more than 100 power poles have been damaged and demolished and so it is a very dangerous condition for these workers to be working in. And so the message is residents are being urged to stay vigilant as they are travelling in these areas. And if they do see any fallen power lines, then to report it. But Energex say that some residents and homes in those areas that were, um, were, that were hardest hit, they're expected to remain without power right up until the new year. Wow, that's a long time. Danielle, thanks for the update.